Hi everyone, hope you're doing fine. Today I would like to show you how you can use the inspector debug mode. So uh, if you click on any of these game objects uh, which are currently here, you can uh, go here and see that uh, the inspector is on the normal mode, not the debug mode. So in order to uh, show you how uh, you can, uh, how this debug mode can be useful uh, let's first create a c sharp script and name it testing or anything you want and uh, you can see that uh, this is the current script and uh, let's make an empty game object and name it scene manager and then drag this testing here currently you can see that uh, this, uh, this is the normal uh, mode for the inspector and let's go here and make it a uh, debug mode so you can see that um, we have more uh, like variables uh, which were hidden are here but uh, let's go back to normal mode and let's open the script and switch to scene mode and let's create some public variables such as public integer um, pi1 or pi maybe and uh, public string and uh, make it ps and we can give it a and um, public bool um, pb false and uh, let's say on in here on start function that the pb to turn into true and pi can increase by one and the ps can become b so uh, when we run our game the this value will change into true this one will be b and this will uh, increase in every frame by one value so let's save our script and go back to unity and uh, click here and now you can see our public variables and you can also change it from here by giving it 20 or maybe c and you can check or uncheck it so let's run the game when you run the game you and you zoom you can see that uh, this value changed from like to 20 that we gave and this one will turn into b and the uh, pb will be true so let's stop it uh, the good things about this is that when you run the game you can see the things change here because they are public and you can also alter the values from here because they are public but what if you have private variables and when you run the game you want to make sure if the value change during the game when the script runs but since they are private and there are lots of code in your script it, it is not easy to just uh, go uh, step by step and write uh, debug.log in order to see the uh, logs here in your console and you just want to see it here well, for that uh, reason uh, let's make this private private and again private and uh, let's uh, before we change the mode uh, just write debug that log to be pb and debug dot log to be uh, ps and debug dot log to be sorry so 
we won't change the, the mode yet because I just want to show you the convenience so now you cannot see the uh, private variables here let's run the game let's go to console and you can see that every time it just print the PI which is private here so this is not convenient for us to check it and if you come up here you can see that this uh, is true and this is B and it still print the log in our console so let's stop it and come um, here and make this debug mode in debug mode you can see our uh, private variables but the good thing is that we cannot change it again but the good but another good thing is that when you run it you can see that yes your private variable changing to true and this one changing to b and this one is still updating the value so hope you understand how you can use the normal and the debug mode in inspector thanks for watching bye